Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot and the normal reading for October 15 to October 21st 2018. So that being said while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that this is going to be a, a general um, reading for Aquarius star sign and it's not going to be your personal reading. Therefore, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is now a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So going to the tarot spread first, and we have a four position tarot spread. The first position is about the uh, topic of the week. The second position is about the core of the situation. The third position that will be the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last position that is going to be the guidance which tarot is offering. So let's see what we got here Aquarius. Is seven of swords. So this is going to be quite a, of a intense week because the seven of swords is somehow connected with detachment. And that is usually associated with when one person detaches from the common goal, from the common agenda. And that could very well be you. Uh, this card has a, a multiple way of manifestation, but in generally kind of uh, suggests conflict. And I will tell you why. Because usually um, when these kind of... a um, um, kind of situations arises where uh, one is to detach from something either from your work or you know from a relationship etc etc conflicts arises of how much one should detach himself with right and that is very well displayed here with the swords it is just the person is taking as much swords as he he believes that the war camp owns him and is leaving those which he thinks that they don't belong to him so it's kind of like you will have a high sense of self righteousness that is the uh, the idea of the card and when you think that someone is mistreating you or something is mistreating you or you are not given the uh, accurate appreciation for your efforts or the accurate payment uh, it is where you are going to storm the situation itself and you will provoke those conflicts so you have to be ready here to ask for what you have been owned in this week if that is not paid to you a, a perfect example if uh, is about uh, being bullshitted about a loan you have given so uh, a friend of yours or someone that you know um, took money from you for a certain purpose and they are bullshitting you saying you I will I will give them I will return them back to you this week and this week he says I will I don't have them right now uh, can you can we extend um, the timeline for the next week etc etc and it is you to say no we can't i mean we have negotiated something and i'm expecting you you know to stand behind your word so that being said uh the seven of swords it is about restoring um the order if you may say it that way even if you have to be a little little bit mean because sometimes people don't un don't understand good manners all right also when it comes to deception this card could um, say that you may be involved in some fraudulent schemes uh, some um, you know uh, a fallacious deals etc etc uh, and this is where as well detachment will will come around because you are going to realize that that is fraudulent or fallacious um, and you know you will want out <clears throat> So pretty much this is the general meaning of the card and uh, again it falls to you to kind of align, align it to your 
personal situation but let's see what the next car is saying wow that that is three of pentacles well what we have here is more concrete interpretation of these couple of cards well basically as uh, someone that promised you something is not gonna keep their word it is what we do have here with these couple of cards I mean I don't know if you're familiar with the elemental dignities but there is so much conflict in between these couple of cards that you cannot even imagine so someone gave you a promise someone gave you a promise or they told you that they're going to support you you know they they tell they told you or they told you a certain statement or whatever and now they are backing off their words that could be very well associated with for example a, um, a false testimonials you know let's say that you're going through a court and you had a witness who told you a true story and when they stay in front of the court they t they tell to the court a completely different story all right and it is to you here with the seven of swords to reverse that unfortunate flow of events to find the truth or to make those people you know to um say the truth but the very least what we do have here as well another version of looking at these cards is that you have helped somebody all right and they are entirely ungrateful for that and they think that you are obliged for some reason you know to help them just because you have the means to do so and they don't give you the uh, the accurate appreciation for your help and it is up to you now in this week Aquarius to put them where they belong on your on their knees all right so if you are low in spirit or you cannot stand for yourself for yourself you don't have a strong backbone well if you don't face the appreciation or the payment that you are expecting uh, that is on you you know you have all the means necessary I mean you have the presence and that is important you have the proof for what you did and that uh, you need to demand that payment either appreciation rewards or payment in, in money etc etc this is this week is going to be chasing off a, a payment for you because someone will back off their word and uh, the challenges that you're going to face throughout chasing that payment this is going to be the tree of wands so that card I don't like how that card sits here it is because it's saying that at the end you may have to kind of strike a certain deal so at the end of the day probably an extension should be given because you will have it very difficult not uh, unachievable but very difficult to um, establish the circumstances the way you want them to probably because there won't be enough material means for that matter or let's say that the person doesn't have the full extent of the loan that you have gave them a couple of weeks ago or uh, they all basically what they have done with the withdrawal here uh, the damage that they did uh, a certain portion of it is irreversible at this very moment and you have to resign with the uh, with you know as just as much as you can achieve throughout the week and that's why you may feel yourself um, betrayed depraved etc etc but that doesn't mean that further going into the future you won't be able to collect your debt and uh, what is important uh, when we're talking about these couple of cards here in the synergy with the Tree of Wands is that it is one thing people to tell you something and to promise you especially something but at, ultimately at the end of the day things are going to be the way you make them not the way you expect someone else to make them because at the end of the day if you want to do something right you guys gotta do it yourself that's the sad truth about it and the um, the guidance that you should follow throughout the week or oh, one um, one more thing I want to say about the tree of wands here is that uh, <clears throat> because uh, there will be these setbacks into uh, that someone is backing off their word or you know circumstances are not went as promised 
uh, that will cause severe delays in your growth and development into certain projects or even in relationship all right with the tree of wands falling as a follow-up in that position but that being said you this should not mean this doesn't this doesn't mean that relationship or projects projects needs to be closed they just need to be postponed uh, for a, a future development but right now what you need to do is entirely focus on collecting the debt that it is owned to you and as we do have the strength card this is a, a very sound a guidance you don't have to feel yourself obliged nor guilty to explain the reasons behind your actions right that is very very important should you start explaining yourself why you are doing certain things you look and you sound guilty while you are not and that will be a, a very um, kind of spread method of how people will try to earn extension or they try to kind of like uh, completely extinguish the impact upon them from the loans that they owe to you and uh, that's why it will, it will be very important to be uh, completely aware and also not, not aware but completely I'm searching the word here guys excuse me for that mm. convinced in your self-righteousness because this time around your self-righteousness is the real righteousness right so uh, but uh, one more thing before we go to the Lenormand reading but whatever you do you should not allow your aggression to speak up all right or to kind of like come to the white world so whatever it comes you need to whatever it happens you need to tame your temper because at the end even if it goes to the court case there is no doubt that you're gonna win the court it is just gonna cause additional here delays with the tree of wands so that being said that was the tarot reading now let's go to the uh, Lenormand card reading and what the Lenormands are going to point is a event that you should either look forward to or um, try to avoid. So let's see what we got. That will be uh, the garden and the garden is about social circles and social gathering and crowds as well. Then we do have the tower. The tower is about government institution, it's about business, it's about seclusion and isolation. And then we do have the clouds. The clouds, it's about vagueness, it's about insecurity, it's about diversion of one's way. So, in a social gathering on a secluded place, you are going to, you are, uh, there will be attempt for you to be diverted. So, what this is going to happen here, the extension that these people are going to ask from you is going to be on a social gathering. And uh, that they are going to invite you on a secluded place. All right? So and it's going to cause uncertainty and it is where you need to be the most strongest ever. But again, don't lose your temper, Aquarius, because that will give them a prerequisite to, uh, to win the argument and eventually to uh, not pay you what they own you. So that being said, guys... Um, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, uh, this was just a general reading for Aquarius a star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, this is a, a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.